Lucky Luciano in context. There was nothing lucky about this guy. He was born in poverty, lived his younger years in poverty. He was a dope dealer, first, last, and always a dope dealer. So we have this legendary figure where well, he started the mafia. This is an accomplishment? Or he started, he formed the mafia in America. So, so what? It's a criminal organization. That, why would you do that? But he did. There's a story, he liked to spread the story that he was called lucky because he had gotten an Irish girl pregnant. Her father and two brothers took him out to a park, beat him almost senseless, tied him to a tree and let him hang, and he escaped. It's more likely he got caught ratting a guy out, another dope dealer uh, that worked for Rothstein, uh, Arnold Rothstein as well. Um, when he was, you know what gets slipped, missed about him a lot? When he was sent upstate New York, he wasn't sent to just a prison. He was sent to a ward. It's not clear which of the two reasons he was there for. He was sent to a ward, A, for uh, drug addicts, or B, people with mental health issues. So there's something going on with this guy. Um, he was deported uh, on what the government clearly said was a railroad. They, they admitted it. They railroaded the guy. They lied. They found uh, the witnesses. Dewey even said, my witnesses are prostitutes and pimps. Uh, he paid, he literally paid people off. Luciano was gone. That's it. And they threw him out of the country. When he tried to get back, he went to Cuba to to uh, get back on and try to get more of the mob guys selling dope. He didn't go there to better organize crime or some. He got him. He wanted to get him on the dope parade thing. He had connections to France and to and he wanted them to run it through Montreal. But nobody wanted this guy around. So they called the Bureau of Narcotics on him, and boom, he's back in Sicily, in Italy again. The last part of his life was miserable. He ran a American-style hamburger joint. It was sort of a novelty in Italy in the late 40s, early 50s. And he opened it for the benefit of U.S. sailors who, who docked there. Um, and he, but he, he felt that he was above them, uh, and as a result, he offered free meals to officers if they'd come into his place. Um, he never married, but towards the end of his life, he was involved with this woman. Apparently, he loved her a great deal, if, in fact, a guy like him can love it all. And she died of natural causes unexpectedly. He spent the rest of his life alone in exile in a country he, he didn't know anything about. He was no more an Italian than you and I or some other American. Um, and he died alone. He died on a tarmac. He spent the last years of his life. Uh, he had heart problems and all other sorts of issues. Lucky Luciano, people, was not so lucky.